What is up everyone, Movie Way, I'm back again with another video and today is just going to be a little bit of a random one. It's going to be my Funko Pop or Pop Vinyl collection, whatever you want to call it. I did promise this in my last Blu-ray update because I like to show off what Pop Vinyls I bought at the end of them videos but I thought I'd leave it because I had picked up a few and thought I'd just show it off in a collection video. From now on when I do Blu-ray and 4K updates, if I've bought any Pop Vinyls, I will show them in them videos and then maybe do an updated collection next year. Now this is something I didn't expect to start collecting. I just picked a couple up like three or four months ago and every time I go to town now I end up picking one up. And I've got a small collection. This isn't anything big or nothing. It's nothing compared to a lot of people's and it's not something that I'm looking to grow massively like this Blu-ray collection behind me or anything, I'm just going to pick up ones that are off my favourite movies or look kind of cool and I'll just think, yeah, that'll go nice in the collection. Now, I hope the way I have filmed this is okay for everyone because I'm not just going to sit here and show them off like that. I'm sort of going to sit them on a table and, you know, just show around them, really. Um, don't spend too much time on each one or anything. And I do not keep them in the boxes. I like to have them on show out the box. I don't think they look too good when they're just sitting in the box. I'd rather have them out on display there. But like I said, not a massive collection or anything. Just, you know, a handful. I think there's like 17 or 18 or something. So I'm going to start off with my Star Wars ones, which I only own three of. Then I'll get into the more random ones, which is just like off, you know, random movies or anything. Or... You know, ones that I picked up off a whim. And then at the end, I'll show off my horror ones, which are my favourites. I do, if I collect any, try to pick up horror ones more than anything. It's my favourite genre. So let's just start off now with the first little set that we have of the Star Wars Funko Pops. First off, we have Darth Vader. Probably the most popular movie villain of all time, when you think about it. Off one of the most popular movie franchises. Kind of one I had to have, even though I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan in the world, but I'm really happy to own this. Now, my Star Wars pop finals are all bobbleheads for some reason. I do only own three of them, but I don't know why they're all bobbleheads. I don't know if all the Star Wars ones are like that. Maybe you could let me know in the comments. Got my Star Wars New Hope Steelbook in the background. And just to confirm, there we go. So, yeah, Darth Vader, first one up in the collection. Next up, we have the Stormtrooper. Now, I just bought this to go with the Darth Vader one, really. And they just stand next to each other in the collection there. And we have the Empire Strike Steelbook in the background. Them Steelbooks always came with villains on the cover. But uh, Stormtrooper is a well-known face in, like I said, one of the most popular franchises in movie history. So I just had to have that to go next to my Darth Vader one. And just to confirm, that is a bobblehead. Once again, uh, I like this one. Kind of cool. And next up, we have The Mandalorian. Now, The Mandalorian is probably my favourite thing from any of the Star Wars universe, to be honest. I love the show. Love both seasons. Can't wait for the third. But I don't own them on Blu-ray, as you can tell. It's not behind them there. But I would buy them in a heartbeat. I love this character. I think he's so cool. I love his voice and everything. And that's a great look to have there. So... I really was happy to own this as a pop vinyl. And again, that'll be the last time I do that bobblehead touch, I promise. Okay, just three little Star Wars Funko Pops there. It is weird the way they're all bobbleheads. I don't know too much about the other ones, if they're all bobbleheads or not. I'm guessing you can get them in both variations there. But next up, we just have a couple from different types of movies and different genres. So let's get into them ones. And there's a couple video game ones in there as well okay next up we have my favorite movie of all time and that is robocop and i just had to have this this is the first pop vinyl i ever owned i think most of you may have guessed that i own this one if you're a follower of the channel i just had to have it it's just a nice simple design but you know who it is straight away and i like the way his arms up with the gun out there kind of how he is in the whole movie but yeah, I just had to own Robocop, of course. Next up we have Classic Sonic. I'm guessing that's from the Sonic the Hedgehog, the first video game, as you can see in the background there. As he's just called Classic Sonic. But this one has like a larger background head on him. You can just see right there. 
tell you about the background corner over there. And yeah, it's really good the way they do, you know, him running because he's known for being fast and stuff. It's a bit of an awkward one to stand up to sometimes. It can fall now and again. Um, but yeah, Sonic, my most favourite video game character of all time. He's the first video game I ever played. Well, that one was in the top left corner there, the Sonic the Hedgehog for the Mega Drive. So I knew I had to have this. I, I love Sonic. I can't wait for the new movie, Sonic 2. Um, but yeah, I, this is a video game one that I just had to own with him being the first video game I ever played. Now, this is one of my favourite looking pop vinyls. This is Tyler Durden from Fight Club. I mean, that is just a gorgeous design, really, isn't it? So much detail in that one. And Fight Club is in my top 10 films of all time. I'm just going to try and get another shot around the corner there because there is so much detail that's gone into this. As you can see, he has the Fight Club soap in his hand there. Oh, yeah. Like I said, one of my favourite... Your movies of all time, and probably my favourite Brad Pitt performance, to be honest. I think he's absolutely amazing in this movie, and that was just a really unique looking pop vinyl that I had to grab. Next up, we have one of my very first pop vinyls along with Robocop, and that is Heath Ledger's The Joker. Now, The Dark Knight, again, like Fight Club, is in my top 10 films of all time. I really like the card he's holding here. Joker card. But uh, I would like to own a Batman pop final. I don't. Now, I know they're releasing some new ones with the new movie coming, so I might grab one then. But Heath Ledger's Joker is just one of the best performances ever for a movie villain, and he's one of the best movie villains of all time, and I'm very happy to own this one. Next up, we have Peter Venkman, or Dr. Venkman, if you like. This one just... I kept seeing this one everywhere I went, and after watching the new Ghostbusters movie... It just sort of pushed me to get it because I did pick up a companion piece, which I'll show next, to go with it. But don't ask me why I've got Ghostbusters 2 on 4K and the first one on normal. It's a long story, which if you really want to know that, you can go see my 4K collection. But it's got Venkman on the badge there. If you can see that, it's a bit dark, but it does say Venkman on the badge. And he's got the Proton Pack behind him there, which is great. I like that. I'll show that in the next shot, but yeah, happy to own that one, Peter Venkman, great character. Well, here is the reason I picked them up. I got this mini puffed Marshmallow Man from the new movie. It's not out on 4K at the time of this recording, which is why it isn't in the background, but he's just biting some biscuit there or something. Yeah, I knew I had to own one of these as soon as I seen the film. And in the next shot, I'll just show you Venkman's backpack as well. And there we have it. Very detailed proton pack there. I like that. So yeah. That is my little mini Ghostbusters Pop Final collection. I do own the 2016 film as well, but I didn't want people to turn the video off if I put that in the background. So there you go. Okay, guys, this is one of my favourite pop finals, if not my favourite. Twisted Metal 2 World Tour was a video game that I grew up with. And I don't own it. It's quite pricey now. I wish I did still own it. But this is Sweet Tooth in his ice cream truck. I just love this. I had to have it. It was only going for £15, so I just had to grab it. How could I not? <laughs> but I love this one of my favourite video games of all time. It, it was in my top 10 video games of all time video. Love that design. It's just a really cool pop final. I'll show you from another angle now. Nice little side view. Twisted Metal head on and Twisted Metal black in the background. Pro great game. Here we have the other side. And the back. Look at the design on the Sweet Tooth's hair there. I'm not sure if this lights up. I haven't really looked into it, to be honest, but it looks like it, there might be a bulb in there or something. I might be wrong. But that is my sweet tooth and the ice cream truck. Okay, guys, I hope you're all enjoying the video so far. I hope it's filmed okay and stuff. Getting into my favourite part of the video now, my horror Funko Pops. Like I said, I absolutely love this genre to death. And these are the most 
cool looking ones I think I mean that Tyler Durden one was one of my favourites but these as a whole are my favourites and does contain my absolute favourite of the bunch which I'm going to show at the very end nothing special or nothing but it's just my personal favourite so let's just get into the horror Funkos okay guys on to the horror pop finals which is my favourite part of the collection and we've got Reagan from The Exorcist here everyone knows Linda Bray's portrayal of this character which terrified audiences back in the day. I really like the vomit all over her face there and the green eyes and, you know, the ripped pyjamas there on her sleeves. I think that's a really cool pop vinyl. I love the way the hair's designed as well. Now, this was the last pop vinyl I bought um, to add to my horror collection. So, hopefully I can pick some more up soon. But, yeah, more horror ones on the way. And what an iconic movie The Exorcist is. Next up, we have... Michael Myers, a lot of people's favourite slasher villain. Now, I know there's a new one out of these. This is the old design, but I think I prefer this one just a little bit more because the eyes on the new one just don't really do it for me, but I still might pick it up at some point. But this is just a nice, simple, sleek design there. And, you know, I like the way his hair goes at the back there. So, yeah. Halloween, one of the greatest slasher movies of all time. Michael Myers, an iconic villain that I just had to have in this collection, of course. Next up, we have one of the newest pop finals to be released. It just came out when they released the film, which is in the background there on 4K, a 2021 movie. Now, there was three different designs of this, but I loved this one with the bees on his face. I just think that was pretty awesome. I would like to get a Tony Todd version as well, but I just haven't seen it out in the wild. Look at all the holes in his face from the the, bee, the honey hives and stuff. That's awesome, that. you got the, the hook there. And all the blood on, sprayed on him and stuff. I absolutely love that one. That is a great pop vinyl. Uh, but like I said, I would like to get the Tony Todd one at some point as well. But I really like this film. I, I thought it was a great installment into the Candyman franchise. So, yeah. That is Candyman. Up next, we have the man who got me into horror all those years ago at the age of 9 or 10. And that is Freddy Krueger. Of course, Robert England's Freddy. Love the little glove design on this. Nice and simple. You can just tell it's Freddy from a mile away. Took me a while to get this one to stand up here. It always likes to fall for some reason. But yeah, that, I, I had to have this in the collection. Uh, this is one I do see often still in the wild, even though it came out a while ago. It must be a popular pop vinyl. Uh, excuse the pun, but... Yeah. I'm in Elm Street. Please, please bring another one of these movies out with more Freddy pop vinyls. Thank you very much. Next up is Leatherface from my favourite horror movie of all time. I love this design. One of my favourite pop vinyls that I own. Now, I know they've released some new ones as well. Um, my cousin who saw to collect these thinks the new design is better, but I actually really like this one. He doesn't like this version of his, but I really like it. Leatherface, another iconic horror movie villain there. So happy to own this one. This one goes for quite, well, not too dear, but it is gone up in price. Uh, so I'm really happy to own that. Just Leatherface with the chainsaw, you know, immediately what film that's off. Next up is Pennywise. Now, again, please don't ask me why I own a Blu-ray and a 4K for It Chapter 1 and 2. Uh, I, I, you know, I just started collecting 4Ks when the second one come out, not when the first one come out. But I've seen a few of these Pennywise designs, and one of them, he was just holding a boat. I can't remember what the other one was, but then I seen this and thought, yeah, I just love the one where he's holding the balloon saying, I love Daddy. I think that's a fantastic design. A uh, little bit steeper in price than most of the other pop vinyls, but I think it is worth it with the detail that's gone into that and stuff. So, uh, this is an iconic movie villain now, isn't it? From a modern horror movie, or modern horror movies, if you like. So, I'm happy to own that one. Next up, though, we have my favourite character of Pennywise, and that is the Tim Curry version. Although, I do think the other pop vinyl is better. I wish they could have done a little bit more something with this pop but it's not too bad you know who it is immediately 
And, you know, it is one of my most rewatched horror movies of all time, even though it's three hours long. I'm really, really happy to have this one in the collection next to the other Pennywise. Yeah, that is Pennywise from the 1990 Tim Curry's version there. Sorry about the focus going in now, guys. I don't know what was happening there, but there you go. Last up, though, is my favourite pop final that I own, and that is Chucky from the Child's Play 2 movie cover. Now, they do have a few Chuckies out there where he's just holding a knife and a new version has been released, but I absolutely loved this one. Child's Play 2 is my favourite uh, in the franchise, and I just love how detailed that is. It's just gone straight off the movie cover there. Now, look at the face on the movie cover of the Jack in the Box, and then look at him here. That is just great, isn't it? That is so well designed. I absolutely love that design. And that is my favourite one I own to date. So, gotta have Chucky in there, of course. Okay, so you can see why I'm wearing this shirt now, after all. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Whether you want more collection videos like this or not, I don't know. You know, I show my game collections off sometimes. I've showed this off for the first time. But I will have a full Blu-ray collection coming soon. Hopefully I can get that done in the next few weeks. All these Blu-rays behind me. So look out for that. So what did you think of this Funko Pop collection? You know, what's your favourite Funko Pops that you own? Is there any you think I should add to them? So, like I said, I'm looking on maybe picking up a Batman one soon from the new movie. I have had a look at them. They look you know, really, really great, actually. And the Riddler one especially <laughs> looks fantastic. So, thank you so much, everyone. Take it all easy. And I'll see you all next video.